Hi students, welcome back to a new grammar lesson. In today's class, I am going to teach you about clause and its types. It's a very important topic and a clear understanding of this topic will help you in transformation of sentences from simple to compound and to complex and vice versa. Before we move on to the topic proper, let us understand the difference between a phrase and a clause. Both are group of words and form part of a sentence. Phrase does not contain a subject or predicate of its own. It has some sense but not complete sense. On the other hand, a clause contains a subject and a predicate and makes complete sense either independently or dependently. Let us see some examples for phrases. I woke up early in the morning. In this sentence, in the morning is a phrase. But it requires some more words for its complete sense. As such, it doesn't convey a complete meaning. Similarly, my son will visit me after an hour. Here, after an hour is a phrase and it does not convey complete sense. My son will visit me after an hour gives complete meaning. We shall have a detailed discussion about clauses in the rest of the video. With respect to clause, there are three kinds of sentences. They are simple, compound and complex. A sentence that has one clause, that is one subject and predicate, is called a simple sentence. For example, I am a teacher. She is a doctor. I wrote a letter to my father. It will have one subject and a predicate. A sentence that has two independent clauses is called a compound sentence. For example, you must work hard or you will fail. He is rich but he is not generous. A compound sentence has two simple sentences which are separated by a conjunction. That is simple sentence la or subject predicate. Compound sentence la rend part irko. Rend part ko tani taniya subject predicate irko. Combined with a compound conjunction. And the third one is complex sentence. A sentence that has one independent clause. Independent clause or main clause or principal clause. And one dependent clause or subordinate clause. Subordinate clause la namakku moonu type irukku. One noun clause. Add the adjectival clause. And the third one is adverbial clause. Let us study about different types of clauses in detail. A clause can be classified into two major types. One is main clause and the other one is subordinate clause. Main clause can also be called as independent clause or principal clause because it stands by itself as a complete sentence. Here we bought a car. It has a subject and predicate of its own. Irundhalo, adhala oru artham complete namakku kedekkidu. On the other hand, the part of sentence which is red in color is dependent on the main clause for its complete sense. Hence it is called as dependent clause or subordinate clause. Let us understand the properties of main clause. A main clause can stand as a sentence by itself. Enna adhala oru subject irukku predicate irukku. Over a sentence ili subject and predicate kandipa irukkunu. Each sentence will have at least one main clause. Or a sentence abdina kandipa or main clause irko. A main clause will always have a subject and a predicate. It can also be combined with other clauses to make compound and complex sentences. For example, I don't remember where I placed my mobile. He bought a table which is made of wood. You can stay here as long as you wish. In the examples, underline panirka parts elame main clause. Enna adhala subject and predicate irukku. Adhu thaniya arundhu namakku arthaan kudukkudu. Now we are going to see the properties of subordinate clause. A subordinate clause cannot be considered as a sentence. It is a part of a sentence or an incomplete sentence. It needs to be combined with the main clause to form a complete thought. Let us see some examples for subordinate clause. I don't remember where I placed my mobile. In the underlined part where I placed my mobile, a mobile enga vetcha? Incomplete arke. 
என் மொபைல எங்கே வச்ச அப்படிங்கிறது எனக்கு தெரியல ஸோ இட் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் த மெயின் க்ளாஸ் ஃபார் இட்ஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்னஸ் ஸோ இட் இஸ் அ டிபெண்ட் க்ளாஸ் ஆர் அ சபார்டினேட் க்ளாஸ் இன் த சேம் வே வி கே நாட் ப்ளே அவுட் சைட் வைல் இட் இஸ் ரெய்னிங் வைல் இட் இஸ் ரெய்னிங் மழை பெய்யும் போது இட் இஸ் நாட் கம்ப்ளீட் சென்ஸ் வி கே நாட் ப்ளே அவுட் சைட் வெளியில் விளையாட முடியாது மழை பெய்யும் போது ஸோ இட் இஸ் டிபெண்டிங் ஆன் த மெயின் க்ளாஸ் ஸோ இட் இஸ் அ டிபெண்ட் க்ளாஸ் You can stay here as long as you wish. As long as you wish. உனக்கு விருப்பம் இருக்கிற வரைக்கும் உனக்கு விருக்க விருப்பம் இருக்கிற வரைக்கும் என்ன You can stay here. So it is depending on the main clause for its complete sense. So in the subordinate clause வந்து main clauseல எதை qualify பண்ணுதோ அதுக்கேற்ற மாதிரி அது noun clause இருக்கலாம் adjective clause இருக்கலாம் இல்லை adverbial clause இருக்கலாம் Now let us understand how noun clause functions in a sentence. A noun clause does the work of a noun. A noun will be a subject or an object in a sentence. அது கடுத்தது நமக்கு முக்கியமா தெரிய வேண்டிது என்னன்னா How to identify a noun clause? With the help of subordinating conjunctions like How, That, What, When, Where, Which, Who, Why, etc. Let us see some examples. He told me that he would come tomorrow. இந்த சென்டென்ஸை நம்ம அனலைஸ் பண்ணி பார்க்கலாம் ஹீ இந்த இடத்துல சப்ஜெக்டு டோல்டு வேர்பு மீ இஸ் அன் இன்டைரக்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் தேட் ஹீ வுட் கம் டுமாரோ இஸ் அ டைரக்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் இந்த இடத்துல நவுன் கிளாஸ் நமக்கு ஆப்ஜெக்டாக ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஆகுது அதே மாதிரி அடுத்த சென்டென்ஸில் வாட் ஹீ டோல் மீ வாஸ் பர்ஃபெக்ட்லி ரைட் ஹியர் வாட் ஹீ டோல் மீ ஆக்ட்ஸ் எஸ் அ சப்ஜெக்ட் வாஸ் இஸ் அ வேர்ப் பர்ஃபெக்ட்லி ரைட் இஸ் அ ப்ரெடிகேட் I don't understand how it all happened. I don't understand. In the middle, what do you want to say? How it all happened acts as an object. This is the verb or the object of function. Now we are going to learn how a subordinate clause functions as an adjective. Adjective na enna? A word which describes a noun or a pronoun. Fine. She is the girl who won the First prize in the oratorical competition. Who won first prize in the oratorical competition? That is the first prize in the subordinate class. And the who referring to that girl. Uh, that describes about the girl. That is the adjective class. The book which I borrowed from the library was lost. The book was lost. That is the main class. which i borrowed from the library we just to say something about the book inge iruka book pathi describe pandrudu adanalai idu oru adjective oda velai seiyiradanalai idu adjective clause adhe madri i bought a dining table that is made of wood that is made of wood is an adjective clause now we are going to learn how subordinate clause acts as an adverb adverb na enna a word which describes a verb adverb clauses will begin with subordinate uh, conjunctions like as so when where why how if because till etc the students were sitting quietly in the classroom until the teacher arrived adu varaiku enna nadandathu the students were sitting quietly it talks about the actions performed by the students so it is an adverbial clause you will succeed if you work hard If you work hard, it is a subordinate clause and it is an uh, adverbial clause. It describes about the action, will succeed. If you succeed, you can say that the verb is done. You hard work. As she wasn't well, she did not attend the school. She did not attend the school. What is the reason why she didn't attend the school? She didn't attend the school. As she wasn't well. So it gives the reason for not attending. So it is an adverbial clause. I hope you must have understood this very clearly but you have to work out more for better understanding. Let us learn some simple English sentences to improve spoken English. Welcome home. What a surprise. What is the cost of this laptop? Can you guess what it is? Will you stop talking nonsense? Do this with involvement. Don't prevent me from doing so. The pleasure is ours. Nothing is possible without effort. 
Talking about others is a bad attitude. How is this possible? It is unbelievable. How did you get this answer? What happened to your brother? He looks very upset. Which bus should I take to go to Eggmore? Please don't interrupt when I am speaking. Don't blame others for your mistake. Serving humanity is serving God. What's your plan for this vacation? It's good to have a passion towards some art. It's a shocking news. I have pain in my left ear and must consult a doctor today. Will the doctor's clinic be open today? Hopefully, the clinic will function till 2 p.m. Can I accompany you? No, thanks. I am going with my dad. Thanks for listening to me. Please like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.